Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday. Today is Real Talk, and today my guest is my favorite person, <laughs> right? Chris Goda. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> a lot of pressure mm. so hello and how are you hope you are doing absolutely amazing I am Lisa your host and as I said my guest is Chris Goda so we've had a show together Chris yes. and, it, and we called it the original with Chris and Lisa so yep. now Chris is on my show for the real talk so let's talk about real stuff sure. and um, so what is one thing that brings us to reality and if there is anything that you would like to discuss by all means uh, write it share it uh, we want to have this as a conversational interactive right absolutely let's do this all right so with the new year with everything that has started i like to ask you yeah. what is it that you have decided or chosen something different about yourself about your health your wellness or your life what is this one thing that you say this is what i'm going to implement in my life mm. well i was lucky and privileged enough to attend your workshop on sunday which was <laughs> wonderful it was great and you talked about self-sabotaging habits and and how it takes 28 days or 33 days to break a habit or to, right. to start something new that is a good thing to do habitually and so one of the things we um, that you helped me kind of bring out the, um, on that workshop was the fact that I don't have a lot of time alone you know mm. I'm in a house filled I'm very lucky to be in a house filled with lots of people but I do sometimes kind of put myself last when it comes to just you know, doing something for me so uh, so I think that's something new that I want to do. You know, maybe go me to time. The, me time. Me time. It's something I always wanted to do. Never had the time to do it. Always kind of feel a little guilty about taking me time. So I'm gonna kind of put aside that guilt and really make an effort to have some me time. So the guilt factor is another thing that now that you brought it up, I want to talk about it. Yep. Guilt in itself is negative. Yes. Guilt is heavy. So once there's a lot of things we can always feel guilty about mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so i think guilt is something that has also been taught or imposed upon us oh yeah i grew up roman catholic so i know all about that very familiar <laughs> right <laughs> yes so feeling guilty like i'm not paying attention to this and this i am taking my time and so what else me time what other things? Uh, I think also to do things a little bit more um, creative. Uh, you know, some more, I, I, honestly, just having a, a, an empty piece of paper or a blank journal and just drawing or writing anything, words. It doesn't even have to make sense, you know, just doing doodling even. Okay. Um, Which also helps you with your creativity. Yeah. Yeah. Right? We forget that when we are a child, we do this creative thing all the time. All the time. Yeah. We dance, we create, we write. Uh, that's what children do. They mm -hmm. write on refrigerators, on walls, uh, and, you know, even with chalk on the floor to play. Yeah. All this is so encouraged for so many children, and yet it's stifled for so many of us as when we become adults yeah. and yet there are people like me that I doodle while I'm thinking or if I am in a seminar or something if I'm not writing I'm doodling mm -hmm. I design things so that is your creative side so me time and creativity give me another one. Oh, more movement you know it's uh it's been kind of uh, cold and rainy so it's it's nice to stay home but then we've had a whole year of staying home so movement it you know travel going back to travel not so much you know the airplane travel is still a little iffy for us so 
Uh, unfortunately, we're going to, you know, maybe wait a little bit longer for that. But, you know, um, just getting in the car and driving somewhere or um, taking an even longer walk than you usually take, you know, I mean, I, I, I it's like a 1.3 miles from my house to the grocery store. So maybe I'll go to the, the next farthest grocery store or, you know, someplace else, maybe a restaurant or something. That How about walks? walks? More movement, more walks. Yeah, for, walks. Sure. for sure. So in a way, this is awesome. This is awesome because I think instead of having a goal of doing like 10 things or 20 things and you write the to do and then when you cannot finish everything mm -hmm. you have this oh another guilty yeah feeling guilty yeah. i didn't finish all the things i wanted to do yeah but if we start with three things at a time it's so much easier to say i can do 10 minutes of me time half an hour of walk by the way, when you go on walks, mm -hmm. if you walk on your own, it mm -hmm. becomes your me time. It becomes yes. creative if you are exploring in a beautiful pathway that you have not. Yeah. And or even in a different neighborhood and you're looking at the trees, taking pictures the way I do and I post. Mm -hmm. Then you have done all three things in one. Yeah. yeah. Walking, me time and creativity. Right. Especially if you start singing. Yes. <laughs> well, I do that all the time. All you know, right. I just, I kind of just sing anything at home. It's, you know, sing along with the radio or movies, and I do that all the time. My kids okay. always tell me, she's singing again, or I'm on the phone, Mom. So, so do you do realize how I incorporated all of them into one mm -hmm, action? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one fluid action. One fluid <laughs> action. Is that easier for you to say, oh, I can do that? Yeah, yeah, so much easier. I can do that. Okay. I can definitely do that. So if we start doing something like that for half an hour a day mm -hmm. of me time, creativity, and movement, then that becomes a one, even though it's three things. Yeah. And if you do three of those at a time in one week, mm -hmm. only in one week, until you get so to a point that you can say, oh, I can do that every day. Right, right. So yeah. it marks, it becomes so much easier. I mm -hmm. think in life, just the same way as it was in the workshop, how we break free of certain habits that are no longer worthy of us or important or are negative mm -hmm. and weigh us down is make it fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. make it fitness. Yep. and bring another thing in so today i would like to introduce you to seven f's and right. that would be family mm -hmm. family time fun time fitness time field which is your creative your career or whatever mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. right and bringing in faith mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and fitness that's the number mm -hmm. seven Excellent. So if we bring all that and we say, create a chart and every single day, just tend to each one of them, even if it is for five minutes or 10 minutes, yeah, then you mm -hmm. finish it the same way as we did this three into one, mm -hmm. it becomes so much easier. If you did the walk and everything, and it would become a part of the family time instead of the me time. Got it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> right. right. But then I it, can check off that F. I've got, I've done that F. Yeah. Right. So. <laughs> what are the seven Fs? I've the done? fitness, family time, okay. family time mm -hmm. and fun becomes on a family walk. Okay. Yeah. So three Fs in one. Yeah. That's okay. wonderful. So in life. I think it becomes so doable for us to do so many things because as you know, as a clinical hypnotherapist, one of the things that I do is I work with my clients to find the part of them and to connect mm -hmm. and feel good about who they are. And when we feel good about who we are, which is our self esteem yep. and it's self pride for the things that you do, because you did it, not anybody else doing it mm, for you. Mm -hmm. And you just go, I did it. I did it. 
And it's yes, a great feeling. It's a great feeling. Yeah. So guess who has this incredible messaging that we see it day in, day out? Every single person. We see it all the time. We see it in media, we see it in billboards, we see it on TV, we even wear it, We, you go anywhere, there is no way you can go to any department store and not see it. Guess what is it? Nike? Yes. Okay, I guessed right. The sign, I did <laughs> you did it. So did you see the joy in you? It's like, oh my God, I did it, I got it. So that's exactly what we are talking about. You came up with it. The self pride trumps everything mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. Now, that's only this one small little thing. It's the check mark. Checking off one thing I do. Checking off another things I accomplish. Checking off the excitement <laughs> of knowing what the answer is. Mm -hmm. It was not a trivia, but in a way it was the messaging behind Nike's check mark. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. So if I want to be a success, just do it. But different versions for different folks. Mm -hmm. What is a success to you may not be the same for me. Right. What is a success for you may not be the same for 10 others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when we have this image of what is success, if I am fit, I'm having fun, I am in gratitude, I feel healthy, I am, uh, you know, with faith, my faith in my life mm -hmm. means a lot. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of meditation. I do a lot of prayer. And that is connecting to my faith, faith-based living. Mm -hmm. Right? Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So all of that is something that you can start today for just for today. And that's one of the things I say. It doesn't have to be every single day. Start stop putting that pressure on you but if you can do and fulfill fulfill another mm. f <laughs> fulfill mm -hmm. one of the f's today just do it just do it right yeah yeah i love it so if you had a message mm. because we started the original together as a raw talk mm-hmm talking about things that truly matter. And we've had so many people who said, Where, what happened to it? Mm. Yeah, where'd you guys go? Where yeah. did you guys, <laughs> when's your next show? <laughs> people are asking. I think it's about time our show comes back. Sure. Yes. Great idea. Great idea. So what are the things that we started talking about? And what is it that we want to do? Let us bring and yes. let us reintroduce the original show with Chris and, and Lisa. Lisa. So <laughs> confession time. We did take a break from the original show. Um, it was a time around the time my father um, got sick, entered hospice, and I cared for him. Uh, he had hospice in my home, so I became his primary caregiver. So the original show kind of took a back seat because I was caring for my dad before he died. Um, it was a difficult time, but a very beautiful time. Very thankful that I had that time of closeness with my father before he passed. Uh, it's also a, a, a very um, honest message to all of you that nothing lasts forever. You know, um, and definitely my time with my father was very precious to me. I'm very grateful for it. And I think it's going to it's going to bring a lot to the show. So when we get back to talking uh, together, we have a lot. I have a lot of experience to share about that. A lot of insight, a lot of inspiration that I, I want to share with everybody. So you I'm know, excited to do that. Yes, that is beautiful because... I think uh, one of the things that Chris and I have been talking about, and soon you will be hearing, that's why I've been saying a lot is coming, a lot of tending to you, caring for you, and bringing more value is we we are creating something that it's going to help the caretakers care the, take care of themselves. Absolutely. And the introduction to the seven Fs is another way. So stay tuned for that. It's coming. Um, 
another thing is at the end of the year, I know we heard so many uh, who lost their loved ones, yep. who died. Uh, I talk about the end of the year, a time for closure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it also has to be a closure for us. And the healing that comes beyond the health, beyond caring for others, that is what we are going to be talking about. We're going to have courses, we're going to have support system, everything yeah. that is being put into place. And that is where we come for you. And we're also going to be bringing speakers who are going to be experts in yes. that field who are going to, we're going to be interviewing them. Sometimes Chris will be talking to them. I will be talking to them. So this entire heal talk, real talk, it is going to be truly an original that we are bringing. Wow. Now it all rhymes together. <laughs> it all comes together. It all yes. comes together. <laughs> it's going to be real talk on heel talk. And we are bringing you original uh, value, original stuff that is all about you. And we're just the messengers. Yes. Yes. It's all about giving information and giving support, which everybody could use yes. and uh, can help you out. So. With we're going to do that. Yeah. We're going to just do it. Just do it. <laughs> exactly. With that, we want to say thank you so much for being here, being with us. Uh, let us close by saying an affirmation and first introduce, uh, I know it should have been a part of the introduction, mm. but I know you so well. <laughs> I forgot to ask you, introduce yourself, Chris. <laughs> My name is Chris Gota. I am a mother of four, healthcare executive, and co-host of uh, Lisa's Heal Talk Tuesday now. <laughs> Real Talk. Real Talk Tuesday, sorry. Yes. We're still getting used to all the newness, <laughs> uh, but I'm excited for 2022, excited to you know, share information and be part of uh, support and transformation and everything. Yes. So with that, Thank you for being a part of us. Today's message was small, it was short, and it was precise. And with that, God bless you and may the universal light surround you as always. Until next week, bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, 